Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to sequence our distillation columns. Before you start uh, sequencing distillation columns, you need to realize when is it appropriate to use distillation as the method of separation. Uh, distillation itself is recommended when the uh, volatility of species are different. For example, water, normal boiling point, 99 degrees Celsius. Ethanol, normal boiling point, around 78 degrees Celsius. Uh, the difference in boiling point, the difference in volatility can be exploited to achieve a good, achieve a sharp separation using distillation. A good thing about distillation is that it's like one of the oldest methods to separate chemical species. Therefore, it's like well researched and well understood. And there are like different tools that you can use to optimize your designs and uh, get really pure products and really safe uh, the operate the savior uh, the money that you need to spend to get those products uh, Here on the right. I have a Case where I'm trying to separate a stream of three components a B and C Now the way I've listed these components is a right here is the most volatile Oops I'm gonna call it the lightest component so it goes from the lightest to the heaviest so notice we have three uh, chemical species uh, for three chemical species we're gonna need at least two distillation columns to achieve pure A pure B and pure C so uh, general rule for n species you're gonna need n minus one columns if and only if you need pure uh, like pure concentration of each uh, chemical species uh, if you just need a if you just need pure a and b and c are waste you can just like run this separation a comes in the top b and c go to the bottom done you don't need to add another distillation column unless you need b or c in their pure form all right enough talking about the uh, basics let's move on to uh, the sequences so okay three chemical species two columns how can we arrange them so my first this is how i'm going to define my first split feed of a b and c and remember you always want to have the uh, lightest component on top heaviest at the bottom so in my first uh, column i'm going to define the split between a and b a is going to come on top and b along with c it's gonna to go to the bottom okay so in a distillation column you can only achieve sharp separation between two chemical species uh, the lighter species is defined is known as the light key and the heavier species is known as the oops heavy key let me get that so for this column a is light key b is heavy key C on the other hand is like even heavier than B which means C is gonna be heavier yeah I know it sounds weird just bear with me heavier key okay we have we uh, we're getting pure A in our distillate so what's next next we're gonna have another distillation column that separates B and C B comes out on top C goes to the bottom so yeah, in using two distillation columns, we were able to achieve a sharp separation. Not too bad. B and C. So this is a direct sequence in which, uh, for example, if you had an other component, let's say D. Uh, D is going to come in the bottom here. And in the second column, 
the bottom stream now also contains D so you're just gonna add another column for another species so like extending the direct sequence is like really simple and one of the uh, easiest to come up with is it the best sequence though well we'll get to that in a bit <laughs> 